Understand your self-healing mission. Discover the key dimensions of self-healing. Foundational to biochemistry is your biophysics, known as terrain. Your biophysical terrain is determined by your body's content of protons, electrons, and photons. Protons are measured by pH, which is the acid-alkaline balance. Electrons are the ultimate antioxidants, as an antioxidant is defined as an electron donor. Photons provide the quantum energies needed for any chemical change to occur. The biological terrain determines what kind of health or disease can grow. It's like the petri dish with the specific conditions needed to grow a virus, a bacterium, or a fungus in the lab. Those conditions are completely different. We call those terrains the five phases of healing. In phase one, you energize your cells to prevent viral and degenerative problems. In phase two, you rejuvenate cell function to halt rapid aging and susceptibility to parasites and bacterial dysbiosis. In phase three, you can regenerate new cells to replace those you've lost and to turn around weak metabolism and fungal issues. In phase four, you cleanse your connective tissues that are home to your cells, so you can clear toxic accumulation and relieve the burden on your immune system. In phase five, you balance your hormones and deal with issues of life stress. The second key dimension of your personal healing process is the specific system, organ, or tissue that is challenged. We look at these locations in your body in relation to how your body developed in the womb. You grew from one cell to 90 trillion cells, and in that process, you developed five tissue layers based on their depth in your body, each forming an integrated system that serves a different primary function. The deeper your health challenges have penetrated into those layers, the more steps you have in reversing the damage. The deepest tissue layer forms the muscles and the urogenital system. We call this the flow system. The second deepest forms the bones, which make your red and white blood cells, and the cardiovascular system, including the lymphatic system, the immune system, and other connective tissues. We call this the support system. The middle layer forms the respiratory and digestive tracts and the associated organs like the liver and the pancreas. This is the processing system. Next to the surface is the nervous system and endocrine system. This communication system includes all hormone producing glands like the pineal, the thyroid, and the adrenals. A third critical dimension of healing for you to identify is how your body responds to healing interventions. This is known as regulation. If your body's regulation is blocked, you don't notice any change for some time even when you are doing exactly what you need to do in order to heal yourself. Once your body clears away enough of the blockage, your cells and tissues can start to release the pent-up storage of toxins and wastes. When these irritating substances are on the move to get out of your system, they trigger an increase in symptoms, or a return of old symptoms, along the way. When you implement what you need to do to heal yourself and you feel worse before you feel better, this is a sign of negative regulation. The next improvement in regulation to watch for is mixed regulation. Now you start to see that while some symptoms temporarily increase, or return, retracing previous pathways, other areas begin to improve. Look for improvement in deeper areas like the kidneys or muscles. Look for relief in critical functions like your mood, your sleep, and your energy. Look for movement of symptoms downward in the body, away from the head and toward the toes. Finally, in the top two levels of regulation, positive, and optimum, you just see improvement in your comfort, your health and your function. By completing the five short questions in our free survey, we can help you dive into better understanding of your unique health challenges. You'll discover how you can accelerate the restoration of your health and get your life back in your control. We'll also ask a little about what kind of resources you're looking for and what challenges you may be facing in your process, so we can help point you in the right direction.